hi everyone welcome back to my channel okay so today I'm going to be doing a little bit of an eye look for y'all don't know what that was about but anyways so I'm this is my background right now it's just a black piece of fabric um, because I am still in the process of redoing my beauty room which is coming soon in the next week or so um, but I am on my new vanity right now and I'm in love with it. So anyways, so for the eye look today, I am going to start off with an eyeshadow base. It's the white base by NYX. And since we're going to be using, um, a little bit of more intense colors today, I am going to be using the white base. I've never actually used it. I just bought the white base. I have... so I always like to have that really laid down smoothly so nothing like creases a bunch or anything so that's kind of why I took a minute to do that um it makes a big difference at the end so anyways I have a few palettes here that I want to use um I have my custom Z palette with makeup geek shadows I have color pop Let's see how many times that camera is going to drop. So I have ColourPop, Yes Please. Dream Street by Kathleen Lights. And this is the color that we're going to kind of revolve the look around. Um, this uh, dark blue color. So I think I'm going to go in with Yes Please by ColourPop. I might not even use my Sailor uh, Z palette. palette. So first I'm going to go in with this orangey shade and then I'm going to go in with this brown shade. Alright, so now I have those two uh, colors laid down um, from the Yes Please palette. I am going to go in with the blue shade from the Dream Street by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop palette. And I'm first going to start depositing... Um, that blue color with the Anastasia brush that's like the flat side so I can really um, press that pigment down first and then blend out after I should put some powder down really quick actually so I don't make a mess of my face makeup so let me put some underneath to catch all the fallout 
I am doing a foundation reveal right now, so that's why my face is done again. So I'm going to leave that there until I'm done with this. And I'm just going to take that brush and really start packing on that product. This is where I'm going to kind of blend it so I don't want to go, oh, stop light. I don't want to go higher than that area right there. But I'm just packing it on so it's very opaque. I'm going to be doing a halo eye today. So in the inner corner, I'm also going to do this step. And then in this very small section right here, I'm going to connect these two lines, but leave this little chunk open so that it kind of starts to make a cohesive um, eye look. So I'm going to do this eye. I'm not really... So now that I have both sides done, I am going to start blending a little bit because it's looking a little wild, a little crazy. So I'm going to go in with a color from um, the ColourPop palette, the first one I used again. It was just the brownie kind of shade, and I'm going to start blending um, the blue and that brownie shade together. Create a nice blended edge. Oops, I just went in the wrong palette. I just want to buff out the edges so it's not so intensely a harsh line. I might put a darker brown right there too. I'm not really sure. Because I'm not sure how I love the blend, but we'll see. So go in this side and start blending these edges out. You are gonna lose some of that pink or that blue um, pigment in the eyeshadow, so you just have to kind of go back and blend and then build that up again. All right. So now we're gonna go back in and build up the blue a little bit more. We don't want to lose the pigment, we just want it to blend well. So then I'm going to go in on this side. My fan is blowing everything, but it's too hot in my room not to have a fan going. So if you see my background kind of shifting, that would be why. It looks so crazy right now. Who cares? Okay, so I'm actually going to go in with a smaller blending brush because I didn't really love how that last brush was going. So I'm going to go in with my Sigma blending brush and uh, try to start blending out these edges a little bit better. So there's not such a harsh line in between, which this brush is doing a lot better. I just the other one was a dual fiber and I'm not even a fan of dual fiber but they also don't um, pack enough pigment I don't think to make a difference more like them when I'm doing like a natural look all right so for right now we're gonna go in one more time with the blue and just get those chunks that were um, kind of blended away right there not much on the inside, not much there. More on the outside where I was blending. Oh, it hasn't been that white like that for a long time. Okay, so now that I did all that, I am going to be using a liquid shadow by Pure. It's this tiny little one. 
and it's called a dynasty and it's just like a golden shadow Ooh, baby oh baby so this is called a spotlight eye or a halo eye whatever you prefer to call it um people call the same like either one of those doesn't really matter what your preference is just call it whatever you want to call it and that'll be good it's not done by any means I'm actually gonna take a little tiny break when I'm done applying shadow to this eye because um, I do have a hooded eye so I can't close my eyes or like move them much so yeah I'll take a little break get a drink or something and let it dry Oh, it's so bright. Why does it keep doing that to me? I don't know if the black is like throwing it off or what's going on, but So then I'm gonna kind of apply that right there more and bring this one out a little bit more because I kind of did that on the other side and yeah so I'm gonna go let these dry for a minute and then I will be right back to blend around okay now I kind of got the bottom I got the um concealer on and now it's looking way better than it did that had a lot of fallout and I've used it before so I knew I just should have done it before my makeup live and you learn I'm gonna put a little bit more of that gold pigment on top because I did just mess with it a little bit more I just want the gold to be very um, noticeable and kind of shocking and I need to stop messing with it I'm getting over messing with it. Okay, so there is that. Now I'm just gonna pop down and do the lower lash line, and then I'm gonna put lashes and um eyeliner and everything if I choose to do eyeliner after my hair is drying. So. That's why I was clipped up like that. It was drying. It's almost dry, so I'm going to bring it down. I do have tiny little curls in my hair that just naturally, but they kind of fall out. Um, so anyways, I'm going to take a very small brush like this one that's pointed at this end. And I'm going to take it right up against my lower lash line, trying not to get out of frame. But anyways, I'm going to take it right up there. Come on, lighting, work with me just a little. And take it into the, um, about three quarters of the way in, and then stop at that point. So go over to the side. Use some more pigment. I'm just like losing the pigment. Mm. I do love this palette. Anyways, underneath the eye, I do the same thing. We bring it in three quarters of the way, not in three quarters. So it kind of looks like that. Um, everything is going to look better, you guys, once I get eyeliner and um, mascara and lashes on everything will kind of come together so anyways i am going to blend a little bit underneath my um make or that underneath that with this peachy shade that i used above to blend i'm just gonna blend that out a little not a ton just a little So anyways, I'm going to go off camera and finish my eyes and then I will be back with the finished product. Bye guys. See ya. Okay, you guys, I'm back with um 
liner and mascara lipstick on um yeah and I look washed out from this lighting situation but I'm like my actual color in real life I promise um but yeah this is how the eyes turned out can't really see that great let me pull you up a little and this is how the eyes turned out um let's see if I can get this side but anyways um that is the finished look this is what they look like um my eyes are watering quite bad so i probably won't leave it on for that long just because I, my eyes are watering but they do that when i try to get things on my on, like lower lash line that's why i usually don't do that much but yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it's a little bit out there but i like it and i like the blue and gold the teal and gold i guess um and yeah stick around if you want more tutorials like this or whatever you have suggestions for, please let me know down below because I'm always interested to know what you guys want to see as well. Um, anyways, like, subscribe, all that jazz. See ya.